Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about another plant poison, Ricinus communis. In my earlier videos, I have discussed about Abris picatorius and Calotropis plant species. So in this, I'll be discussing about the introduction about in uh, Ricinus communis plant, then the active principle, sign and symptoms, the fatal dose, postmortem findings, and medical legal aspects. So before starting the video guys, I would like to request please like this video and subscribe to my channel and share it as much as you can with your fellow forensic scientists. So first introduction, castor oil plant. Now this plant is also known as, Ricinus communis is also known as castor plant. Now we get an oil from this plant, so hence it is also called castor oil plant or castor bean plant. Now despite its name, it is not actually a true bean. Alright. Now this plant belongs to the family Euphorbiaceae. The, there are pharmaceutical and industrial uses that are linked with this plant. Basically it is very uh, popular for its oil, the castor oil. And also it is used for landscaping. Now the plant is basically grown in countries like India, China and Brazil. Mainly for its castor oil. Now this castor oil basically is uh, famous for its purgative action. It facilitates in bowel movement. Now the seeds, seed of this plant is basically oval and somehow flattened in shape and we get to see two different types of seeds. Now one is large red seed as you can see here in the picture one is large red color seed with brown patches over it and there is Smaller, another seed is smaller in size, grey color seed again with brown patches. So, there is one large seed and there is one small seed and they both of them have brown patches over it and the grey seed is somehow more bright and polished. The brown spots are available in both seeds. So, we know that uh, till now Ricinus communis is also known as castor plant. It is famous for its castor oil which has purgative action. The seeds are of two types, red and brown, big and small. So if we talk about the active principle of Ricinus communis, the toxicity of raw castor bean is due to presence of ricin. So the active principle is ricin here. It is a toxalbumin. Uh, Toxalbumin, if you remember, Abrus picatorius had also uh, one of its active principle, which was abrin, was also a toxalbumin. As I have told before, toxalbumin basically are toxic proteins that disable the functioning of ribosomes. So once ribosomes are disabled, the, there will be no protein production and uh, activities will stop. So here is seen is also a toxalbumin. Basically, it works by blocking the RNA polymerase enzyme, which leads to stoppage of the functioning of ribosomes and hence no protein is formed. Next, it belongs to the AB toxin group. There's a group of toxin called AB toxin and ricin belongs to that group. Also, this plant is used in cancer therapy and for research purposes. Next, if we talk about the sign and symptoms, now if there is overdosing of resin, then that leads to symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, hypotension, seizures, and they also may persist up to a week. Now, there also be if it is taken orally, then there is burning sensation in the mouth, throat, and then we have abdominal pain and bloody diarrhea. So these are the symptoms of Ricin, uh, ricinus communis poisoning. Now within several days, if there is the poisoning has continued for a long time, then there is severe dehydration of the body. There is drop in blood pressure is seen. So there is hypo, uh, the hypotension and uh, there is decrease in the amount of urine that is formed by the body. Now the poisoning occurs when animal, which also includes human, they ingest a broken seed. The castor beans need to be broken already or it needs to be chewed if poisoning has to occur. If 
the seeds are taken intact that is the the seed are not chewed or they are not broken uh, before in uh, before taking uh, orally then that does not lead to poisoning this is so because the shell of the seed is very much hard and our body cannot digest it so if it is not digested if it is not broken down by the body or earlier then um, the tox albumin the resin can will not come out from the seed and it will not be able to cause any problem so the toxicity will be there only when the castor seeds are broken or chewed down now if we talk about the fatal dose it is up to 8 to 10 cc basically and the resin amount or in other terms you can say that if 6 mg of resin is taken then that leads to fatality then fatal period can uh, is basically it varies from 2 to several days depending upon the dose depending upon the person person to person then if we talk about post mortem findings then uh basically the death due to ingestion uh, of castor seed is rare then uh, post mortem findings include mucosa is of the gi tract is congested softened and inflamed fragment of broken fragment of seeds may also be found in the stomach and intestine we also get to see dilation of heart hemorrhage in pleura edema and congestion of liver kidney spleen lungs may also be seen so these all are the post mortem findings of resinous communis poisoning now if we talk about the medico legal aspects accidental poisoning due to seed ingestion might occur like if uh, any child uh, by mistake or accidentally uh, takes uh, the seed through the mouth then that might lead to accidental poisoning then homicide by powder seed powder the seed can be crushed and then that can be taken for homicidal purposes but uh, this is quite rare also the powder seed may cause conjunctivitis when uh, it is applied to the eye so these were the medical legal aspects of the uh, resinous communis now uh, so this was all thank you for watching this video now please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it with your friends that will mean a lot to me thank you